Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Thank you so much for joining me today on another episode of I Love Lucy Fact or Fiction. Today we're going to be looking at the episode Deep Sea Fishing. Now I do want to give a little bit of a viewer discretion is advised here because I will be talking about not necessarily adult content, um, feminine hygiene products, they will be mentioned here. I know you probably saw the title and were thinking what in the world is this about? Well, I'm going to tell you all about it. Don't forget guys and gals, if you do want to support the channel, take a look at the link in the description. There is a link to Patreon where you can get exclusive content from Rick9G that is found nowhere else, but it is found on there. And don't forget to give a big thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. Let's get right into it. As mentioned, the episode Deep Sea Fishing was set in Miami, Florida. The script called for two gigantic tunas. Each of them were about 60 pounds. The prop department thought, hey, that's not too hard. Let's get some taxidermy tuna. However, Desi objected immediately. He said, we are not going to get fake tuna. I want absolutely real tunas. The smell, the weight, the look, he wanted it all for the cameras and for the live audience. The assistants went down to San Pedro, California and found a fisherman who was willing to sell them two identical tunas around 60 pounds each. The next morning, they took the station wagons down and a check for $25 and in a couple hours they had two large tunas still a bit frozen from the ice packing. They found a corner in the prop room and they hung them up to defrost. To their horror they returned a bit later and discovered that they were bleeding from the mouth and the gills. The blood wouldn't stop. They spent the entire afternoon wiping them down with towels to remove any moisture. Desi Arnaz of course kept calling and was asking are they still bleeding? Are they still bleeding? If you remember how much the tunas were actually used in the episode, it was instrumental that they were working for the different shots and scenes that they needed, and at the moment they were having big problems. Now they finally were able to come up with a solution. Now I have to tell you that it will sound like I'm making this up, but this comes from Bart Andrews' book, The I Love Lucy book, so in case you want to read this yourself, it is in here, but it is a crazy, crazy story. So what they did, someone in the prop department got a hold of a box of sanitary napkins and stuffed the fish with them. What's another name for sanitary napkins? Yes, feminine hygiene products. Today we call them tampons. They needed that blood to be absorbed and not get all over the set and make a mess during filming. When Lucy heard about the tampons being used, she stopped by the prop room and asked if it was true that the fish were filled with Kotex. Laughingly, she said, if one of those things falls out in the middle of the stage, I'll die. Now, I rewatched the episode, guys and gals, and I want to show you a couple snapshots where you can actually see white string or white material inside the mouth of the fish. You can also see a little drawstring coming from uh, the bottom portion of the gills. I'll highlight them for you. Yes, this is true. It happened. So this is indeed a fact. And well, the scenes pretty much went without a glitch and there was no bleeding, and of course the episode was finished. What do you think about this? I would really want to know your thoughts down below. Thank you so much, guys and gals, for your love and support as always. Again, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It does help me. I want to hit 7,000 subscribers. We are so close. We'll see you all next time, and don't forget, be hopeful.